Hi everyone, this specific question talks about a JavaScript concept called closure. Let's go and understand it first and then we'll come back to the question. So in simple words, a closure gives you access to outer function scope from an inner function. And every time you call a function, a new closure will be created. So now you'll see we have an init function here. So whenever you're calling it in this init function, we are declaring a variable, then we are de declaring a function, and then we are just calling the declared function. Now you'll see that this inner function all already have an access to uh, the variable declared inside the init if i if i run this you can see mozilla return uh, return on the console how is that possible just because of closure so closure gave you access to the outer variable so you can consider it as like a uh, in javascript right we have lexical environment so that is uh, you can consider it as a data structure which is holding a mapping of identifier versus variable so identifier here is the name and the variable is like whatever reference we are going to give to this mozilla as simple as that now uh, lexical what the word i used you can just think of it as a hierarchy in sequence um, uh, so yeah that's that's as simple as that now coming back to the question so here we are supposed to give uh, okay we are given an integer and we have to return a counter function so this is what we are trying to do right uh, in uh, you can just uh, you can just return a function or directly uh, declare anything it's totally up to you this counter function initially returns n so this is what we are supposed to do whatever we are getting here we have to return this and then return one more than the previous value every subsequent time it is called so initially it should return n then n plus 1 then n plus 2 so if you are getting 10 here then it should return 10 next time it should be called when it's called it should return 11 and then 12 and then so on right okay so what we have uh, learned is closure right so let's declare a function inside create counter uh, which is count equals to n whatever we are um, getting we are just assigning it to the count now after that we can just simply keep on doing count plus plus so whatever we are getting this plus plus in javascript and in other languages means like you are trying to increment so this is as simple as writing count equals to count plus one right so it will return your count and then increment it right this is as simple as that again as said before now um, you can do the whole thing with arrow functions as well right this is what we have returned because we have given a signature signature so i try to explain you everything with the same thing but this is this is another way of returning the same thing you can you can just do this as well just to return um, the same you will get the same output while returning this also if you are having difficulty to understand this part right you can you can simply uh, you can simply think of it as returning count and then um, maybe maybe storing it as something like uh, inside a variable and then return that this will also work you should not be having a problem so let's uh, let's on a previous state or maybe previous or we, let's call it current count which is n itself and then you can just return this current count here without this plus plus and then you can assume it to be count equals to count plus one and sorry for that that we will be using count here again yeah so this should also work let's try to run it it is uh, it's accepted um let's try to submit it okay we'll also see if we can get the same output from here itself i'll comment this out Awesome. this should also work hopefully yes it worked and we will also see if our previous implementation of count plus plus will work or not yes i'm really very satisfied but i'll fill it later cool 
I guess everything worked. So I'll create a specific video uh, helping you to understand closures in the depth. Please follow for more and subscribe if you find it really helpful. Thank you.